This is Ozark's Fox AM. Good morning. We missed you, and we're back. Welcome to Ozark's Fox AM. I'm Jeremy Rabe. And I'm Kelly Smith. That made me think of good morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. I don't know that song, but it sounds really good. I hope you're feeling fine. Yeah, well, thanks for joining us today. From? Where's that from? I don't know. It's just a I, little ditty. Is it like a... Like from a TV show, you think? Yeah, or? I don't know. It's just like, I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're feeling fine. Yeah. I've never you heard don't know, I don't know it, but I like it. Okay, there you go. But I like it. And can Cheer, I just say, did you, you started wear that for a Carol? whole thing. You, you start, wore this for Carol. You started a whole leopard crazy thing with the Carol Baskin saying, yes, this is for Carol. Good luck, Carol. Well, she danced last night. Oh, wait. It was last night. Yeah, I was thinking it was, it was Thursday. Okay. It was the and? last night. Did you see it? I did. I stayed to watch the first hour, then I watched the second hour because I had to go to bed this morning uh -huh. to see. And oh, Carol. Let me just say this. Carol. I feel bad for her <laughs> okay. because she made me like her last night. She did? Because she had such a great smile on her face uh -huh. and she was enjoying it. And then I was thinking, oh, maybe she didn't murder her husband because she's so uncoordinated on the dance floor. <laughs> How can you coordinate it to murder your husband then? I don't. I'm just well, saying. Her mind could be coordinated, even though her body's not coordinated. <laughs> Social media was going crazy with her. Oh, I bet they were. I just, no. Let's be honest. Did we think she was going to be an amazing dancer? Mm. Not really. But she went out and had a fun time. She got the lowest score of the night. She did. But they saved her till very last, of course. Okay, but now, is she off now? Oh, no, no, no. They still oh, okay. get to Okay, they saved her for last. And so. America gets to vote and blah, blah, blah. All right, blah. so she'll get to stay on for a bit. Yes, and Chriselle Staus did very well. I feel like the judges were too hard on her. She did amazing and got a 13 out of 30. Why do you think they were hard on her? I don't know. One of the judges said her feet messed up something. I didn't see it, but I thought she did great. Um, there was a lot of ties for first place. So Do you like, think that some of the judging, because you were, because you like Chriselle. Yeah, I love and her. And I know, but it, do you think that, I mean, I, as humans, there is some bias, no matter right? what you So what is the bias doing. then? What do you think? I'm just saying, with the judges, who knows? I don't know what their relationships are. They might know some of these folks, or they might know people that know these folks, or I don't I know. Don't, I don't know. You know? I mean, it's a very good question. It's hard to keep the bias But on out. first night, it's yeah. also difficult because you're seeing everybody, and you've got to yeah. now see, okay, where's everybody at? Yeah, and, you know, that's why, you know, sometimes it's good to go first because they always remember, like, the first thing. Yes. You know and what I'm I believe saying? A.J. McLean went first. Oh, he, he did. did well. How, I'm yeah, sure he, he did, did well. well. Yeah. He did well. He got, like, a three sixes, so like an 18. Okay, and the 20 is the highest? 30 is the highest. Oh, 30 is the highest. Yes. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, so that was fun last night. And then... Um, I got a text from my brother yeah. yesterday because I just need to, okay, I need to brag on my nephew. If you can't brag on your family, That's who right. can you brag about? Let's do it. Okay, so my nephew Jonathan is a senior in high school, mm -hmm. and part of their tradition for seniors is they get to paint their parking spaces in the school oh. parking lot every year. So my nephew Jonathan love, love, loves Whataburger <laughs> in Texas. So here, here's this video because you kind of get to see his parking space, and he was surprised yesterday after football practice. He was surprised by Whataburger Corporate, who saw the picture of his parking space, and they came and gave him lots of prizes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Well, I think that looks fantastic. He, did he do it by himself? Did he do this parking he, what, place My sister-in-law, my niece, and yes. So, my, so when they surprised him, by the way, they gave him... A free year of food at Whataburger. A full oh. year. Look at that. Wow. There's his part. He's 89 oh. in football. Okay. That was his football number. So they gave him a free food for uh -huh. a year. They gave him a brand new backpack, a Yeti, Ooh, nice. school supplies, hand sanitizer, masks, pop sockets, which I don't even know what that is. I'm not sure. Uh, Pez candy and a t-shirt from Whataburger. Pop sockets has got to be some kind of candy. I you think don't it know. is? Yeah, what is pop socket? thing oh. on the back of your phone oh, that people that. use to like hold it. Uh, you know there, what? Um, I had one on my old phone. I don't have yeah, one on this one. I gave so mine away and we got a gift and I gave mine to somebody and I need to get one now. Yes. I, so I, I forgot about that. So I that's a pop Thank socket. You. Thank you. So he got that. They surprised him. Um, the Whataburger is huge in Texas. Yeah. He eats there almost every day anyway so that's just going <laughs> to save money. And uh, two of the local news stations in Midland covered it also. So my brother was sending me all these clips from the news stations because they were just so proud. Yeah, and I was that's like, fantastic. That's amazing. I thought he did a great job. He, and he is such, I'm telling you this, I don't know if you could see in that video, uh, Patrick Mahomes went to school in Texas. Uh -huh. Jonathan is a football player. Mm -hmm. Jonathan loves Patrick Mahomes. My whole family does. The whole Texas does. That's my nephew, Jonathan, who got a perm 
on his head to because make him look. Because of Patrick Mahomes? He wanted to look more like Patrick Mahomes. Oh my, just recently? Oh yeah, recently. Oh my gosh. And he looks, when that I saw is, his picture, I was like, you look like Patrick Mahomes. That is so cute because, you know, the perm thing went out. I mean, we used to do them years ago, but I mean, they're resurging. You can obviously still do them. Some people do. Jonathan reminds me of me because I got a perm in seventh grade <laughs> to be like Joey McIntyre from New Kids on the Block. <laughs> so, the apple oh, don't fall so far funny. from the tree. We had, we all yes. had perms. Yes, we did. Also, if you remember, it is Deaf Awareness Month, and I'm going to give you the word of the day. Oh, the word of the day. I don't have that one because okay. we're good. Sign language. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, what was the word yesterday? Friend. Friend. Okay. We're keeping it positive. You know, yeah. let's do fun words. So, how about the word happy? I love it. Happy. You're happy. 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 I love happy. this lesson. This H is so great. And for those you who are deaf, who are watching. H A P P Y, happy. You know, the thing is, when you just learn them a day to day and you keep repeating it, is it twice around? Or I does do it matter? twice, yeah. I don't think it matters. Like, if you're signing, like, a song, yeah. you get really into it. And, if and the, you can just keep being you can really, keep really doing happy. Because if you hold a note for really long, yeah. well, if you're deaf, you can't hear the music. Right. So you have to be like, you take your time. So it doesn't with have it. to be, I mean, it can be large circles, like, I'm yes. this happy. Well, normally, if you're just signing, talking, it's happy. I'm happy to see you. Yeah. So if you're signing a song though, and you have to take your, then you can take your time. But if oh, you're just signing, oh, because the notes are long. Yes. Okay, gotcha. But if you're just signing, you're like, happy. I'm happy, happy. I love it. I know. So friend, friend, happy, happy. Okay. I love we're all got learning it. I together. Got it. You know, it's so great. And even some uh, young moms are teaching their kids sign language from the very start. And I think that's they, they learn. I just thought of the word for yet tomorrow. Then you just okay. reminded me of okay. something. Okay, because they actually learn to sign before they can learn to speak. My sister-in-law did that with yeah. my nephew with cerebral palsy because yeah. he couldn't speak. Right. So she taught him sign language. And then they can tell you about food and different things. Hint for tomorrow. Tomorrow's word is going to be the first word in sign language my little nephew ever learns. Okay. Very good. Okay. okay. Thank you. I'm